So first is odd and even number. So many people don't know how to find odd and even number fastly. Like they know what to do with this modulo operation here, but is this the only way? No, there is a better way which will actually take so less time. So welcome to this in short series. This is going to be the first video of that series. And in this series, I'll try to cover small videos like this one and those smaller topics which actually helps you to master the topic. Like, for example, you already know BFS and DFS. Okay, so like BFS and DFS. But what is the difference between BFS and DFS and why you will go for this one, not this one or vice versa. So those things will be covered in this series. So stay tuned and have fun. So let's do the job of this video. Yeah, so the intro is done. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to this video now. So I was telling that we have better way than this. Actually, this is like n square complexity, order of n square, okay? Because modular operation takes way more than plus, minus, division and all those operators. And n is the number of the length of that number, okay? So it's like if your number is like 546, then n is 3 here. So as you can see, we have this n square operation here. And this is really very costly. And what is that way? That way is this if will get replaced with if i m percent 1 equals to equals to. We, we can skip this equal to equal to 0 thing. But for better understanding, if this is true, meaning this is even number. Else, this is odd number. Why this thing is working? Let's see that. So let's suppose your number i is maybe 3. So the operation we are doing is bitwise and operation, right? So this is bitwise operation. So you have 0, 1, 1. This is 3. i is 3. And this is 1. So 0, 0, 1. Now if you do and operation 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's why if you see this, this is 1. So this will fail. 1 equal to equal to 0? No, it is not. Then it will come here and it is saying that it is odd number. Obviously, this 3 is odd number. Let's keep 4. So 4 is this one. 1, double, 0. And similarly, 0, 0 and 1. Now if you do this and, you will get 0, 0, 0. So this means 0. So if you will be getting 0, 0 equal to equal to 0, yes, it is true, then it is even number. So if you see this, this is way cheaper and why this whole thing is working just because the property is whatever number you have let's suppose you have some 5 which is 101 or let me just write this 0000001010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so if you just see this one then you will realize that this is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5, 6, and 7. What is this? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So the last bit says that, is it odd or even? That's why we are doing AND operation with 1. Because 1 is the only number which has 1 in the AND and rest are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? So if you'll AND this operation with any number, you will get to know that that number is even or odd. Okay? So if it is 1, meaning it is odd, and if it is zero, meaning it is even. Pretty simple, right? So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye. Take care.